you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over. I'm going to be going over how the Mutt market will be affected by the Mutt Heroes drop this Friday. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking this. Like hundreds of comments have been about sell buy sell i've made enough videos i thought to describe this but i'm gonna make a video specifically aimed at how mutt heroes should affect the mutt market now all these comments i've gotten there's too many to answer in regards to this and it's too much there's too much detail that goes into every response so i figured i'd make a video do it all out there for you guys you guys could watch this as many times as you need to do to go understand how i believe this will affect it i've collaborated this with xerxes a few times and we kind of have a pretty good idea of what we think will even happen although you guys might not agree at least you guys could hear my opinion on it and also guys sorry if i've not been answering comments this week i've had to write a five page research paper some essays a lot of stuff for school that i've had to get done so i've had like literally after this video i have no time to do anything besides start getting to work but that should be done by today at least so i'll be back to answering comments normally so sorry for all that guys but before we get into this video and we start going over the month market if you could so kindly and you're new for you to the channel hit that subscribe button boys we're almost at 9k and then next our 10k milestone which will be my first big milestone on youtube i'm very hyped for it guys so if you could let's accelerate that growth hit the like button also comment down below what your personal theory is regarding how the month market will be affected by this and i'll be sure to read through all of them and guys trying something that i haven't done in a while help you guys out a little bit i'll be doing a 50k giveaway within this video 50k which is 50,000 coins if you don't know all you got to do to enter is like the video get this video to 400 likes and comment down below 50k i did it in a video earlier today i'm doing it in a video today I'm trying to get back to you guys i have tons of coins i got 50,000 for with someone's name on it comment down below 50k and then just like the video or comment done either or and i'll be able to randomize based on the comments so remember if you like the video and you forget to comment i won't have you as a commenter and i can't check who likes the video through that way like so make sure you comment down below after you like it so i know you guys did it and if we hit the like goal i'll be sure to drop 50k to random commenter now boys let's go into this so my personal theory right let's go check out the market prices and i'll see how i think things will be affected from this now the market's dead like like dead dead like bad really bad right now it got even worse like it i made three videos right the first video was bad the second video was like wow it got worse the third video which would be today got even worse so guys like Willie Brown, right? I saw Willie Brown selling for 205 earlier. 205. When he was 250, I thought he was a steal. When he was 230, I was like, wow, that's cheap. He was at 205 before. I was actually upset that I still had one because I lost like 60k on him. Then Anthony Munoz at 265, I was like, that's a good deal. At 240, wow, awesome. He was 220,000 coins. So I think people are in full-fledged sell mode right now. Like we're really getting to that point. Where people are selling all their teams for uh, for mud heroes and i understand a lot of youtubers such as myself told you to sell but i told you to sell weeks ago now i'm telling you to buy actually with things this cheap so in my personal opinion people probably think that mud heroes will make the market even worse like tremendous i don't think it'll go tremendously more down like can the market really come more down than it already is probably not by a lot i think these cards like these horrible prices will become the new norm i don't think you're gonna see much lower so like i said if like there's some players you want don't hesitate to go buy them because mud heroes isn't going to be like 94 overall cards they'll probably cap it around 92 overall cards which means they'll fall right in the norm of cards right now some cards will come down but in my opinion the cards that will come down the most preferably or in my opinion are the cards that will be the best at their position which i'll go over later in the video so stay tuned for that but back to the pricing right so let's say a guy like willie brown willie brown goes for approximately 300 and two don't no, tell me my bad 238k he was 205 before so again like if you see a price don't hesitate to buy because mud heroes is coming like some prices are just unbeatable willie brown for 205 was an unbeatable price i actually don't want to get stuck with another player because i'm trying to build my coin stack but willie brown at 238 i feel like he will be between 220 and 260 for the foreseeable future they're going to be within ranges right depending on the day mud heroes are going to drop a new player at every position that approximately like between 90 and 92 overalls so you have to anticipate that the 92s will probably kill some of their positional value, but the 90s probably won't. Like, the 90s, like, if they drop a 90 overall cornerback, Willie Brown won't die. Willie Brown might be affected, but he's not going to die in value. Now, in my opinion, let's say, here's a good example of what the Mutt Market is going to do when these cards come out. So, I believe that there will be a 92 overall or 91 overall Saquon Barkley in this. I, I truthfully believe there will be Ezekiel Elliott or Saquon Barkley, 91 to 92 overall. There has to be one. So, guys like Gale Sayers, 268k. Great price, right? 
if they drop a 92 overall Saquon Barkley with a 90 speed, 91 speed, let's just say, like right, 91 speed Saquon Barkley with 85 trucking, 90 break tackle, good agility, good jumping. If he's faster than this Gale Sayers, this Gale Sayers will drop to like 210. Marcus Allen will drop to like 120K. He'll keep going down. Because if you guys already know the trends, when a new top player comes out at a certain position, it kills the market. When Gale Sayers first came out, and he was the top running back that wasn't limited time like Bo Jackson. Marcus Allen went from like 190k, 200k to 150. Dalvin Cook came down a little bit. He was a team of the week hero though, so he retained some value. Todd Gurley came down a little bit for the time being. McCaffrey is cheap. A lot of running backs came down because Gale Sayers is the best running back you could buy that's not limited time. But if they do indeed drop a 91 or 92 overall Saquon Barkley, who competes with Gale Sayers, and he's if he has a be, if he just has better speed, if, if Saquon Barkley has better speed or at least even speed with better trucking and physicality, you know sure as hell that Saquon Barkley is going to be like 400k, and this Gale Sayers will be like 2, 215, 210. He's gonna go down, which means the whole running back market will go down. It will specifically affect the best running back at the moment because if you don't know, most players when they're at their best overall position, like let's say the best quarterback, right? Actually, bad example. Let's go, like I said, best running back, Gale Sayers. He is the best at his position, like I said. Which means most people want him, which will overprice him. So, a good example, actually, Steve Young. Steve Young was the best at his position. When he first came out, everyone was so excited for Steve Young. A top quarterback in the game. He was mobile, escape artist, whatever. He went for 500 to 600k consistently. And I told everyone, don't get him. Because I know in the near future, whenever they drop a Steve Young, it's always the bait. They're going to drop a Vic next. Same thing with Gale Sayers. They drop Gale Sayers, they'll probably drop Zeke soon or Saquon. They drop Champ, I think Dion's coming soon. But anyways, I said don't take the bait. I was like, Steve Young is only good because he's the best mobile quarterback in the game. The second a new one comes out, his value's gonna crash. The second Lamar Jackson, no, the second Michael Vick came out, Steve Young went down to 300K. Then Lamar Jackson came out. Steve Young's now at 220. People lost four to 700K on him, depending on if you powered him up all the way. I'm telling you, Buying the best cards at the moment isn't always the best thing. So Steve Young's a prime example of what can happen to the best card at the moment if you buy them before the next new card comes out. So like for Mud Heroes, I recommend you go get those newer guys that you want. But then for the, the October promo, I'd recommend getting rid of a few guys. Now halfback might not be one because typically the October promo doesn't bring about some crazy halfback. It's more like defensive players, wide receivers, tight ends, maybe some linemen, but you guys get the point. So in my opinion, a lot of top guys should be losing value. Like a lot of those top positional guys like Gale Sayers, at the time Steve Young, and you guys know who I'm talking about, Willie Browns, those guys will lose value. Now lower guys such as like John Elway and stuff, they'll lose a little bit. Like John Elway might go down to like 160, 170, but he's not going to lose a ton because people, if people have John Elway, it's because they want him or because they can only afford him. People aren't just, people aren't going to sell John Elway for this new car that comes out, like this new 92 overall Deshaun, let's say, uh, Deshaun Watson, they won't, they won't sell Elway because if you have Elway, you probably don't want other quarterbacks probably like Elway. Now, Gale Sayers, if you have Gale Sayers, it's probably not because you like him. It's probably because he's the best guy at his position. So you kind of have to have him to complete the meta. Now, another thing you guys have to stay on the look out and look for, besides positional value going down for the top overall positions at the players at their position, we might be getting some brand new. We have, we're going to be getting some new mud heroes, obviously, some new sidekicks, in my opinion. If they run the promo the same way, you have to remember that when they first come out, they're going to be really expensive. So when you guys first get them, you probably want to sell within those first few days. Mud Heroes last year, like Eric Berry and those guys, Aaron Rodgers, they went for hundreds of thousands of coins, 400,000, 600,000, right away, right off the bat in the first few days. Two weeks later, I was getting Eric Berry for like 220. You have to remember, last year they gave us solo challenges, they gave us tokens, they gave us tokens, objectives, and enough things to get us almost one free. If they do something similar to that, a lot of people will get their free mud, uh, their free mud heroes, which will decrease price. And I'm hoping we get a house rules that give us either sidekicks or a free mud hero. I don't know if they'll give us a free one, but if they give us at least pieces, that'll be equally as fine in my opinion. So don't always hold. Like if they come out with a Saquon, I probably won't buy it day one. I'll probably wait like three, four days and then get it. Be smart with your coins. Know that the market's gonna when it first drops, mud heroes will inflate. The market will come down, and then within the next week or so, the market will slightly come up again, and the mud heroes will come back down. It's like an equilibrium effect, like. When things are at equilibrium, it's where they should be. Like when mud heroes come out, the hype will be high on them, and then the old card people are gonna want to sell. And then as we come within a week, people are make, oh, okay, mud heroes are okay. Come back down the hype, and then the regular cards will come back up. So in my opinion, if you're gonna sell these regular cards, they're pretty low right now. You could hold, you could wait, you could do what you want on those. There's pretty much no window to just sell everything at this point. I mean, you probably lose coins that way. 
But then with Mud Heroes, don't buy right away. Give it some time. Even me with my obsession with Saquon Barkley, I'll even wait a little bit because I know that if I don't wait, I'll end up paying 700k for a Saquon that really should only go for about 300k. Don't get me wrong, I want him. So I'll, I'll overpay if I have to, but not 700k. Just like Lawrence Taylor, guys, 700k, and he came down tremendously a week or two later as more cars started coming out, guys. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video going over how Mud Heroes is going to affect the market. I hope this helps you guys, gives you guys some insight specifically on the Mud Heroes promo, not just the market overall, specifically how I believe the Mud Heroes will impact the market and how I see this whole thing kind of winding out. You guys understand that? So that's about it for the video, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 9K as quick as possible. Turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post time-sensitive content just like this. That could greatly help you guys out. And always stay on tap, on touch, in touch with my daily videos. Also, guys, don't forget the 50K giveaway. All you got to do is like the video, get this video to 400 likes, and then comment down below 50K. That's all you got to do to enter. And I'll pick out a random commenter if we hit 400K. If we don't, I'll extend the giveaway to another video. Don't worry about that. But if you're watching, make sure to hit the like button. Start growing the number guys that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day this should be the second or third video you're seeing for the day enjoy i'm out see you guys next video peace